what's the best way to find an internship within the aerospace engineering industry in the UK? So if I was back at university again and want to look for an internship in the aerospace industry, these are the three things that I would do. One of them would be to look at engineering specific job boards. Second thing would be to basically connect with individuals on LinkedIn who work at some interesting aerospace companies within the UK and message them to ask them about their internship options. And thirdly, it would be to look at company websites specifically for some of the big name aerospace companies in the UK. So what are the, some of the best job boards to look at for getting an internship in the aerospace industry? Well, one of them is spacecareers.uk, which is, as the name suggests, focus on careers and internships in the space industry alone. Another great website to have a look at and see if there's any opportunities for aerospace engineers is Gradcracker. And this is a platform basically showcasing any jobs that are available to STEM degree holders or STEM degree students. Um, and this is purely based, it is tailored for engineers, I'd say. And uh, most of the opportunities on there are at some of the, the big well-known companies. And then you also have the choice of using a more generic job board such as Indeed. And if you just search, you know, aerospace engineering internships on their website, you will have a list of potential options. But I would definitely say that firstly, start off with the more aerospace specific job boards, because that way you're going to, you know, not have to waste your time with scrolling through all the other opportunities that you don't really care about. So the second thing I said was to message people on LinkedIn. So if you've never heard of LinkedIn, in essence, it's a sort of careers oriented social media platform where you're able to message and talk to people who are working in companies that you aspire to intern at. So for example, you might see, I don't know, like, my friend Kevin, for example, he did his internship at Airbus and you can see a video with him up here. So whilst he was working at Airbus, you know, if, if uh, you were a student at the time, you could have messaged Kevin and been like, hey, Kevin, how did you get your internship at Airbus? So yeah, if you get on LinkedIn and connect with people who are currently doing their internships at an aerospace company that you would like to work for, definitely message them and you know just ask them like how did you get your internship and maybe they, they could refer you or they could help you out with the more specific steps related to how to get into that specific company. And I'd also like to add and say that if you do set up your LinkedIn account whilst you're at university then it can help you out when it comes to looking for jobs after university or even connecting with interesting people. So yeah, it's well worth doing from before you've even graduated because you'll be able to build up a good network of people and also work on your, your personal brand, and your personal image online to, you know, stand out from basically the rest of the other engineers in your cohort and the country as a whole. The last thing I would, also, I would recommend is basically to search up the mainstream aerospace companies within the UK. So things like people like Airbus, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, MBDA, Raytheon, Skyrora, GKN Aerospace, uh, and basically have a look on their websites to see if they do offer internships. And on their website, they may have like, you know, application deadlines, or they might have like when they're going to open the position for applications. So the good thing to do is basically when you have had a look on these websites, create like a spreadsheet just to list out, you know, what internships they have available, when the applications are due, when the applications open and so on. So at least you have like a, a basic, like, I don't know, plan of how you're going to apply and when you're going to apply for these companies. Because this way, you know, you're not gonna forget about certain companies and ultimately, when you are applying for internships, it really is just a numbers game. And the more internships you apply to, the better you're going to be firstly at actually going through the application process and doing interviews and technical assessments and so on. But then also you're going to have a higher chance of getting more offers. So then you're able to choose where you want to intern at when you're choosing your placement year or whether it's in the summer or whatever. I would also like to add, you know, with some of these big name aerospace companies, it's likely that your university might have some connections with the company. So I would also say it's worth exploring that to see if maybe your lecturers or someone like that knows someone within the company. Because for example, at the University of Sheffield, I believe that we did work with 
uh, Rolls Royce, I think it was. So there's always going to be connections there. So you know, make the most of your network at university because you never know where, where that might lead. So, I mean, yeah, this video was pretty, pretty short. There was not uh, a whole lot I wanted to really say in this video. Well, I don't think there was a whole lot that was needed to be said. So I guess ultimately, you know, your steps are going to be have a look on job boards specifically related to aerospace and then also the generic ones as well. If you don't find anything in the former job boards, also utilize LinkedIn, very powerful tool if you uh, use it correctly. And um, so definitely check out my videos on that. And also, you know, have a look on the individual company websites because sometimes, you know, these companies don't use job boards. So you have to directly go to the websites themselves and make the most of your connections you have, whether it's through family, whether it's through friends, whether it's through university and, you know, connections always helps you. Um, so there we go. That's, that's the video. So thanks a lot for watching. And also remember to subscribe to the channel if you found it useful. Also like the video and comment down below where you're thinking of interning because who knows, someone else watching a video might also be wanting to intern there or even works at the company. You never know where the mic leads you. And if you want to uh, support my channel even more, there's a link in the description. So click that and uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in another video. Goodbye everyone.